Thursday night, I uh, took out, um, Artie wasn't around, but I took out uh, Robin, Fred and his wife, Allison, Gary Baba Bowie Delabate and his <laughs> wife, Mary, and Benji to dinner at a very fancy restaurant, yeah, Danielle. A place I've always wanted to go to. Oh, yeah, you we had a, a wonderful meal. Sure, it's amazing. We had a wonderful meal, but I have to say, Robin, um, <laughs> Jesus. So anyway, we're what, having what, dinner. What did I do? I'm going I'm I'm to give it to you a little it bit. It was a tease. No, well, I, gotta, I, I will comment on the entire dinner. but And we had a great night. Don't Red let this Barry on you. Yeah, but anyway, so we go to dinner. And you know, you're not going to comment on Robin. Robin, well, ben, oh, Benji, I got plenty to say. <laughs> but you're taking top top uh, billing this today. I can't even imagine. What um, did I do, Fred? I'm going to tell you. I, I'm going to guess it's about your veganism. <laughs> the only Somehow. I, although I told her I want, let me, let me just tell the story. I, 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 I really wanted her to, to drop the veganism for the night, but she wouldn't do it. She's very good to it. Anyway, we had a great time. So, you know, Robin is a wine expert. Right. And uh, I said to her, listen, Robin, I'm going to give you the wine menu. Pick out a wine for us to drink. And Robin picked out a beautiful wine. They served it. It was delicious. And the waiter comes over to me, would you like to continue with this one? I said, sure, if Robin picked it, that, you know, that's what she wants, that's what we'll have. Well, that's why I sent him over to you. I said, you oh. ask Mr. Stern if he oh. wants to continue Yeah, sure. With this. I mean, absolutely. It was delicious. So uh, we're getting toward the end of the meal. The waiter comes over, and he hands everybody at the table an envelope. I open up the envelope, and it's the actual label to the bottle yes, of wine yes. to show you what you have. I, I've been to Danielle a couple of times. They never do that. I said, what? uh-oh, what the fuck is going on here? Why are they giving me the... Li Maybe because they know this is my crew and this is important to me. Well, the bill comes. Gary was looking over my shoulder. Now, oh, he just told me this. He, had, he didn't say anything to me that night. Uh-oh. Robin ordered a wine. Now, Robin, let me explain <laughs> something to you. Because You know, I don't know where you grew up, but oh, actually I did. Oh, go. You know where I grew up. When someone says to you, <laughs> order a bottle of wine listen to me so you know this for the future I i'm all right with it say. i'm fine I with know it what you're gonna say uh, you, you say to yourself okay what am i going to order here i have never look, ordered let me tell this. you about the wine list now he didn't look at the mm, wine i've list. been there a million times i know the wine list there were bottles of wine there that were twelve hundred dollars all right were there bottles that are a hundred or two hundred dollars I was looking at the French section, so I don't okay. know. Okay, so listen to this. <laughs> listen to this. I get the bill. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 Look, it took my I, breath I away. I was ordering one bottle of wine. He kept them coming. I, uh, listen, so wait, um, let, me, let me finish. <laughs> let me finish, because I'm going to teach you something. I, I know you know everything, but let me teach you one thing if I can. And you'll, this will stick with you, even if you fight me on the air about it. So, I get the bill. And now, I went like this. <gasps> like, it, like, like my breath. No, you did not. Yeah, I, I went like this. I was there. I did, Gary saw it. You, you must have had, uh, you no. must have needed a burp or something. And Beth made a comment. She even joked about no. that the first time they went out, Howard looks at the bill and he makes that face, but the, no. this time he wasn't kidding. Let me tell you something. So I had to add it up. Each bottle of wine no. was $800. <laughs> Seven. No, oh, you, I guess taxes. How many you have? Well, three bottles. <laughs> and this shithead Benji, you know, okay. they serve him wine. What he doesn't even drink it. Yeah. You know what they do? With the, they, they give everybody wine. If you're not going to drink wine, don't ask for wine. In other words, say to the waiter, no. Benji, Benji, you you gotta, say, yeah. I don't drink. You got to be specific with that, too, because I'll keep it coming. That's a good good point. You don't I, know I how, First of all, your manners are ridiculous, but I'm, I'm going to tell you about Benji. Robin's in trouble, but you're in real big trouble. <laughs> um, so, anyway. It wow. was good wine. Let me ask it you this. Still, it, wait, first, wow. when, so, when, so, when you are invited to, you know, I remember a story. Tom Chiasano took a client out to uh, lunch or dinner and said, order a bottle of wine. Right. The client ordered a $600 bottle of wine. He came back. He goes, you know, that motherfucker. If I wasn't paying for it, you think he'd ever order a $600 bottle of wine? Now, I've never ordered an $800 bottle of wine in my life. It must have been well, good. I would say to you, if I was doing that, I would have ordered that wine. You are insane. Okay. You're a high roller. It's one night. Wow. No. Now, well, not because, every night. Let me ask you so something. So the wine bill alone was over $2,400. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Oh. I didn't tell them to keep bringing it. Well, 
listen, I figured, I said to myself, Robin knows. I figure you know. You know, Robin will go order a two hundred dollar bottle uh, of wine. Well, you should have and, ordered yourself. Don't ever. Now, ask me to oh, did I learn my lesson with you? What I would do. Oh my God! Why? And I even said it to Beth. I said Robin would have ordered that if we yes, were out to I dinner. Would have. I said, I've she's, done it before for you. I should just, she's, you know, she's Please. filing for bankruptcy next week. Okay. Now, let me ask you something. The waiter, the, the waiter at a place like that. The waiter, because the waiter comes over to me, and I should have figured it out. He said to me, do you want to continue with the wine? But they always ask you that. I right. said, sure. I said, whatever Robin ordered. But a waiter at a place like that, is a way, he knows you're a regular, this guy. Yeah. Have you seen him before? Do you think it's proper for him? To say to you, sir, this no, is more... No, it would be embarrassing. It's embarrassing, right? So He's, He heard me say to Robin, order the wine. Right. Robin so, should look out for no, me, wait but a she minute. didn't. So I, when yeah. he came over and said, should I bring that again, he came over to me. I said, you have to discuss that with Mr. Stern. But, but he didn't dinner. discuss it with me. You should have said, Howard, it's $800 a bottle. Oh, but that's interesting. I mean, it. but Robin did say that Robin, probably in, in wanting the guy to say no. But the, I wanted him to. I know, was all right with it. That's I, the reason I sent him over there. Right. I didn't obsess on it all week, and I said to Beth, "Listen, <laughs> Robin's a high roller." Oh, and, here we go. Wow. What are you saying, Do Fred? Do you think I'm I'm flabbergasted? I don't what? think I don't think I've ever had a seven hundred dollar well, bottle. No, this was eight hundred. Eight hundred. Well, that must. Have I been mean, nice, I cause I, I knew things were a little pricey because I ordered a scotch there before you guys got there. And the Trust scot- me, the scotch was fine. And no, but the scotch is a little pricier in that joint than they are in a lot well, of other well, the places. Well, the whole meal, meal, without, the, the whole meal right. without the wine would have run me about, uh, I don't know, 1200 bucks or something. For Which, that amount yeah. of people, that's... That actually is yeah, pretty good, like man. That's reasonable. But the 2400 Holy Robin jacked it up, too. Jeez. <laughs> I'll pay you for the wine. No. I will. Here, no. Here, here's the question I have. Look, all I can say is... Gary, am I right, though? Here's the question I have. It went, I know Robin said that when the guy came back, she said, you have to ask Mr. Stern. But if Mr. Stern doesn't know what the bottle costs, of course he would say keep it coming because but, he thinks it's reasonable. But there's an indication there when I send him over, look, you better take a look at this. I was at the table, and I missed the signals you two had, the indication. I didn't have any signal. I the signal know. is, look, wow. you're paying this bill. You ought to be able, you ought but, to know what you're doing. But how would he know? How would he know because what the price when is? when the guy says that, he ought to say, well, let me look. And as Gary points out, Gary... Robin's off on that one. She's, when you're the, like I said, I'll give you a check for twenty five dollars. No, I wouldn't. No I wouldn't cash it. I will send it to you some other no. way then. I, I, I don't want to hear about you in this wine. It's what I would do. Well, I have to say, no. I, I'll just say this in the, in the in the interest of peace here. How about the signal being, "Hey Howard, it's eight hundred dollars." Right. She should say, "Hey Howard, eight hundred dollars." Can I order another one? it is for the waiter to say it. So I'm supposed to yell it across the table. No, no you whisper it to me. Well, you, the smoke I'm not signal. near you. And by the way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so Gary in- indicates that he did not drink any wine. If he had, he said he probably would have driven it up to four bottles. <laughs> I didn't drink. I said to the guy, I gave what he gave me a little bit, and I gave mine to Mary. If I was drinking wine the way I drink, we'd have been at four bottles, easy. Right. Well, thank God Benji didn't drink the rest. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, you yeah. two, well, you two are very. Any of that wine. You two are very, very generous we with each other. With, with each other, with gifts to each other, what you do for each yeah. other. So and Robin's it, right. She would, she would actually. Thing. She that would do that. That is not something I wouldn't do right. if you were pay, If I was paying the bill. Yeah, that's why I like going to dinner when you pay. Thank you. And from now on, you'll never take me out to dinner. All right. Don't punish me. I will th- take you. I will never ah. be taken by you again. That's what I'm looking for. I don't want to hear it. I have never. I don't even look at the price when I take you out. <laughs> I pay. Do you think Robin's crazy now? I think that she's uh, got a little bit of misplaced anger on this and what she thinks about later today. No, you'll, you'll I'm understand that. Saying that when I go to a certain place, I like to have a certain kind of time, and I do. Let's Wait, but that's your dime. Thing. George, let's go. You're on the air. Wow. And it will be on my dime. That's what I'm saying from now on. I won't yeah, have to worry about it. Now, Robin is very generous with me. Yeah. But right. still, when you go out to dinner with a group of people, you you kind of keep an eye on the price. You don't go eight hundred a bottle. You don't. Uh, you don't. I'm just telling you for the future. It, you didn't go eight hundred a bottle. Mm. You just paid for dinner. I'm paying for the wine. Yeah, I would never accept it. I, I will give it to you, no. and you're gonna take it. You spent thousands of dollars on me. I'm going to give it to you, and you're going to. No, I'm take just it. telling you for the future. I'm going to give it to you, and I you won't take are it. going to yeah, take it. I get taken out um, to restaurants in Manhattan all the time. Right. And uh, <laughs> people, it's just not called for. It's way above and beyond. I've been to Danielle, Oreo, all the best restaurants, and it's just rude. And uh, you you take a medium price bottle of wine, maybe two, three hundred dollars. Right. Three hundred dollars is just way over the mm. top. 
and uh, doesn't show very many manners. I don't care what you say. I'm paying for the wine. I'm adding to the dinner. And paying for the wine while someone else is buying is rude as well. Yes, wow. that's well, that's even more rude. Now you really insult me. To bring this up is rude as well. Well, we do wow. a radio show. I had it. it was too good not to. I had to. <laughs> to bring this up is very rude. It is. You just wow. don't take me out to dinner ever again or uh, ask me to buy it. a bottle of wine. Don't be silly. Again. I think, I think Robin week. might be catching some uh, unnecessary shit here, but uh, I think... It's a lack of communication. I think what I would have done is maybe gone over to you and say, look, I know wine and how, maybe see, you know, wh have so a how are you, are you comfortable with this? Look, we can have a great bottle. This is, it's an $800 bottle of wine. We can enjoy one of them and then maybe you choose well, another Robin wine said, how are you comfortable with this and hey, shown it to me? the room from him. I know, no, I know. Me in this wow. position. I wouldn't do that across the room. <laughs> I would say, look, we could have, experience this and then maybe go to something right. later. Well, that's or, why I was trying to send the guy there to say, no, just... Tell him to pick another bottle of wine. <laughs> uh, just say for the future when you go out to dinner with other people, not me. I don't. I wouldn't um, do that. I'm always taking everybody out anyway. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I always put the bill. Now, Benji really is something else. So, first of all, uh, thank you, George. Um, Benji. <laughs> thank you, shithead. <laughs> <laughs> so, Benji. <laughs> he probably takes nobody up for anything. <laughs> Well, he knows rudeness. I, I say, you know, Beth said, let's make the reservation for 730. I said, listen, my crew gets up early. I knew Robin was leaving the next day. You were going off to, I don't know where you were going. You were going flying to your, flying for an enema. <laughs> it's another thing. Flying for an enema. Anima. Uh, and I wouldn't buy a $1,200 bottle of wine. Right. So I, so, you know, I said to, I said to Beth, let's make it for 7 o'clock. Because I said, maybe Gary's staying in the city. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. When you live out in the city, bro. that's tough to negotiate. Yeah. Like, you know. So we make it for 7 o'clock. You know, Robin, Fred, Gary, we're all there. Right. Basically 7 o'clock, within five minutes of 7 o'clock. Who's not there? Benji. And he lives in the city. Now, Benji really, <laughs> Benji knows I'm not looking for him anyway. <sighs> you know what I'm saying, Robin? Right, I mean, he's, right. he got, he's getting in by the skin of his teeth into this group because he sits in the studio during the show. And I love Benji. Don't get me wrong. He's a good guy. But... You've been here a decade. <laughs> right. <laughs> Longer, actually. You know, I, quite frankly, you know, we've discussed this. Benji's there with, should be in the Sal Richard category, <laughs> uh, except that Benji works in the studio right. with us, so therefore he's part of that dinner. So I invite him, and no Benji. A half hour. Now, everyone was hungry. We were all starting to drink. And I said to the waiter, look, I don't know where this guy is. I, you know, I don't know what he's doing. Half an hour late? Half an hour, Artie. Ben, you, so, know, what, what, you know where you work, man. I'm not I even done. Do this that. is just the beginning, and I'm sure Robin and Frank can <laughs> fill in the holes. But yeah. And Gary as well. So I'm sitting there, and Robin knows I'm getting annoyed. Right. Because, you know what, I'm only good for so many hours. And when I'm drinking, right. it's like, you know, I'm going to fall asleep. And the waiters are standing around, and everybody's waiting for us to do something. We're waiting for Benji. Yeah, so we're waiting and waiting. And finally I said, listen... Let's uh, let's get some stuff, you know. Let's let's get some appetizers and things. And when this guy shows up, and now I'm down to calling him this guy. Like I don't even know him <laughs> because I'm so fucking mad. I go and I even said to Robin, I said, "What could he be doing? You know what? You know he. Yeah, what's they, holding he, him up? This is an important function. I'm his, you know, his quote boss. unquote boss. Yeah. You know, it is. It's, it's, a, it's a, yeah. a, you know, it's a time to be impressive. At the very least, be on time. It's a work so, thing. Yeah, and he knows I hate that he's not prompt because even on the show he pulls the same bullshit. Right. So he, maybe he got a mental problem. I don't know. So he walks in, fat as ever, <laughs> sits down, sweating profusely. Now, Artie, you've seen it up close every day, but I mean sweating. Like but, he ran to the dinner in a suit. And then he sits his... I was thinking Robin was going to sit next to Beth, but Robin sat down next to Fred and I Benji... I didn't see the chair open next to Beth. That one was for you. Oh. There was a whole discussion about where Robin will sit. But... When Benji showed up, I was like, oh, where's he going to sit? And then I saw this. He, you know, sat there. And without and Benji, you down. could easily have leaned over and showed Howard the price of the wine. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Benji. That's Benji's fault <laughs> that this all happened. So um, Benji sits down. There's a deflection. Oh. Sweating profusely. Where were you? And his answer was, Gary, what was his answer? Fred, do you know? I know his exact answer. answer. Go ahead, Robin. Is, I started to get ready at 6.15. And I miscalculated. Yeah. Now, the guy has to throw on a suit 
and get and come here. I mean, uh, what, yeah, who knows what getting ready is? But he didn't get ready until six fifteen. Start to get ready until yeah. six fifteen. So like 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 a chick, he shows up late. Like I'm on a date with this guy. Then he shows up, and so the meal is delayed. A seven thirty dinner. Seven seven seven, seven, seven dinner. Right. six fifteen. He shows up seven thirty. <laughs> So he orders a dinner. Now, this fucking guy is so fat. I mean, how much you weigh now, Benj? About 235. Okay, 235. Shows up. He's not going to order an appetizer. He's not hungry, he says. Now, I said, I Benji. Mean, he's making all kinds of hubbub. Yeah, 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 like a whole thing. He goes, I go, Benji, look at the size of you. Stop now lying so, yeah, that I go, you don't eat. Yeah, what do you mean you don't eat? What, what do you mean? What are you talking about? You're not going to have an app. Do what everyone else is doing. Just fucking fit in. So he's carrying on. So I, he I, calls I, attention to him. So I told him, so he orders an appetizer. What would you get, the tuna tartare? Yeah. Okay. I remember. I was more obsessed with I don't know what I ate, but I know what this fuck <laughs> ate. And uh, <laughs> he orders tuna tartare, uh-huh. which he barely touches. <laughs> and, and by the way, the other time I took him to dinner was Nobu, and he wouldn't eat any fish. Okay, so now the, he's ordering so, tuna tartare. So, so now at the table he orders fish, tuna tartare, and he orders a trout or something. I don't yeah, know what he ordered. A bass, or bass or something? some yeah. some bullshit. It was and a the bad whole choice of fish. You know, and then all of a sudden he goes, "I love fish. I love fish. I love it." And I'm remembering it, Nobu. He didn't love it. Now, this place has meat. At all. This place has everything. They'll, they'll serve you a fucking duck and a pig and right. a chicken. They'll serve you game. They'll serve you anything you want. They'll, they'll kill a lion for you and cook it. <laughs> I love fish. All right. You don't love fish. I you do. don't eat fish. At Nobu, you wouldn't eat fish. That's the greatest fish no, place that's in not the true. country. I had ordered a fish at Nobu. I had salmon at Nobu. Okay. All right. So he goes, I love fish. I love fish. No, because you were yelling at me that so I wasn't eating. So we're, well, wait. I said, this is So great. we start eating it. dinner. Everyone's done with dinner. Benji's whole plate of fish is still, still there. completely there. No. So I go, Benji, what's the matter? Don't you like it? I love fish. I love fish. The waiter comes over, starts, he says, can I have, can I clear the table? Benji goes, no, I'm still eating mine. Uh, now, can I, Howard, can I just give you a timeline on yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. So, so, Arnie, you've been at dinner with Howard. You know, Howard, <laughs> Howard likes to move things along. So Howard claps his hands and says, let's order dessert, which right. is the signal to let's clear yeah, the table. Mm-hmm. Benji hasn't eaten anything yet. When the waiter comes... He says, can I take your plate? Benji's in the middle of the story. He goes, no, no, I'm going to wait. So now Howard's dying to move it along and have dessert, and Benji's talking and not eating. Like, Benji can't read a signal. Howard, why is Benji he cannot not read. He can, why is he, A, why is he not eating? He can't, Howard, he can't read the signal that everyone's yeah. exhausted. Howard, I, I like you. Yeah. yeah. I, but I don't give that much of a fuck. Yeah. I, I, well, I, you know I, what, though? I, Honestly, nice Benji, if you're going to get an head in life, you got to read signals at a table. No, you're I there do, with I, a bunch I, of coworkers. And you're sitting there. You're, you're not eating. You're clean. You never eat your fish. We waited I ten am more. Eating. We waited ten more I didn't minutes. I didn't want to order an appetizer because I, I I didn't. Like Benji, it. we all were done, and then you said what, you told the waiter to hold off on desserts for ten minutes. I didn't tell him to hold off. Yeah, you said I'm still eating. That means they're not going to order dessert, and you didn't eat the rest of your fish. You I'm, fucking sat there with it. You know, fucking return the fish. You you are bullshit. I, Gary was going insane too, and I'm not the only one. And believe me, Robin hates you. <laughs> she just I didn't even know why he was there. Oh, Benji right. knows that. <laughs> I, I just, it's just annoying. Gary, help me out here. Will you explain the world? No, Benji, Benji, seriously, here's what happened. Just give me two no, seconds. No, 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 give me two seconds, no, and then you can talk. Give me two seconds. Funny. Go, Gary. Dude, you got to learn not to give so much a fuck. Just sit down, have a nice time. But, but it's his dinner. You didn't give a fuck that you're a half hour late yeah, and you're sweating all over the goddamn table? What's Wait, with you? What are you sweating for? I, I'm another. Wasn't it like 17 degrees that night? Yeah. I mean, it was pretty chilly. Yeah, it's hard to work up a sweat. Yeah, I'm sorry, Benji. The world doesn't revolve around you. Sweated, the dinner was for seven I, I o'clock to, to say you, you can't off. say you can't come. I sweat to piss you Why off. Why did you show up at seven thirty? First of all, I got there at seven twenty. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You didn't. Yeah. Go ahead, guys. No, I think it was seven thirty. Here, here, here it is, Benji. Seriously, I know what you're saying about how it should relax and all that stuff, but you understand. A, he's your boss. B, he invited you to dinner. So, if you're going to go to that dinner, there's going to be a certain way things run. If you don't want to deal with that. You probably should just not come. But yeah, once you come and you, real, and you realize it's Howard, you know how he gets. He, Benji, he goes like this. This is exactly how he goes. He goes, all right, let's order dessert. And that went right over your head. Yeah, oh, always. And so, so you were talking, telling a funny story. And they did come to you. You know your... why? Because Benji entertains no one. He doesn't care about anyone. And when someone sa- yeah, he doesn't sit and pick up signals. I know people like Benji. Uh, they're the most annoying people. They've been so pampered in life and so babied mm. that they don't pick up. 
on what's going on at the table. It's, it's, Robin it's had it's finished. It's Fred had pop. finished. Yeah. Everyone was sitting listen, there. Me, it was time Fred, for me as the host to move the evening deserve. along. The waiter, the waiter was looking toward me to find out should I clear the table. And you're the only asshole who's sitting there. And you didn't even finish. Your food must have been cold by then. Right. I was enjoying it. It was cold, Robin. I put my finger in it to touch the temperature. <laughs> oh, Bitch, you, you were at my house that night. That Howard, you, you know that there's like a, he gets tired early. That's why we eat dinner early. Right. Gary, you were tired too. Everyone was. Yeah, you were tired. It was, it was, a, just it was a violence around the table. You because we were waiting. Chronic. Because at, as a courtesy, the way matters are you wait for the everybody to be finished. Was, I would have ordered dessert. Oh, don't get me and wrong. And then you would have been mad. Why, no, you, why turn waiter, it in your fish before you're done? No, the waiter would not take our dessert order. He this etiquette there's at a fine restaurant. All right. You were holding up the table. I we At had least a good eat time. your fish. I thought we had a good time. We had a good time. Not you. We had a good time without you. When you showed up, things got horrible. All right. <laughs> we had a good twenty. We had a good half hour before things got bad. No, we had a nice time. I enjoyed your company. I, yeah, I you love being there with you. Fine in conversation. Yeah. I mean, listening to your things. unbelievable sex life, which I don't believe a word. Was of. there more of that? Yeah. Oh, oh my! I got to tell you, my wife. We, I thought we got the guy's God. version at Nobu. No, no, no. no. He Every went into. Yeah, Benji really. loves to talk about his sex well, life. Yeah. Mary turned around to me. She goes, "Is that? Is that?" Is that real. possible? Yeah, is real? And I go, I think it is. And she goes, that's really disgusting. <laughs> Benji's, she likes your bed, but she was sort of creeped Benji's out. Benji's up to like really no, this, dangerous behavior. No, yeah. Like, like, he's, like Benji's yeah. going to get killed. Yeah, he's like he's the female version of looking for Mr. Goodbar. Like, 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 Benji, said, like Benji, right. one story about his sex life is he goes on these, you know, Craigslist or whatever they are. Right. And he, you know, some guy invites him to his hotel room to fuck some girls in front of in him. In front of him. And like he's going into strange hotel. Right. You know, he's and gonna he be... doesn't know who these people are. Yeah. He's in a strange location and nobody knows he's there. And when he shows up, doesn't the guy go, "I don't want to watch you fuck anybody," and the girls don't want to fuck <laughs> yeah, you? I, that guy must really be. Just... I said, Wait, I said, did that Benji... really happen? Yes. And I said, Benji, aren't you worried? And he goes, Yeah. yeah. But, I, but but did you fuck a, a girl in front of a guy? Yeah. Wow, that's that. And he said the girls were a like stranger, or a stranger at a hotel. They were models, right? He didn't come on my chest or anything, but yeah, no, were, no, they, no. were they models? Uh, they looked like it. Yeah. I don't know if they were. Yeah, he 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 describes the scene. But meanwhile, would you go models to <laughs> some a long time ago? I'm no, dating regular say. chicks now and dating regularly. Oh, they must be regularly? delighted. Well, anyway, so you know, Gary and that guy, and I won't say, but it, he is famous. And that guy, if you want to, I would reveal. Don't, don't do that. No, right. don't, don't, don't What, the guy who watched watch you? Night yeah. Quiet. Dinner. Total coincidence. Stop. Yeah, no, he I doesn't know it. who I am. He doesn't know I know him. I don't want to. Oh, sorry. I think I know who he is. Actually. No, you don't. I think you told me. No, I didn't. Okay. Was it Sam Ben Ruby? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, anyway, so. No, Sam would know Benji. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sam would throw Benji out. <laughs> I got to tell Benji? you. Benji. <laughs> I got to tell you. Wow. This Benji's such a character. Right, I, I, I love him. I, I don't want to be too harsh, but he, he was... Actually, that guy scares me. If he knows, but, I would never reveal him. But understand something, Benji. Yeah. You're going to go out with people in the future. Forget about me. I understand you're trying to be eccentric. You think he's going to go out with people in the future? I don't know. I, I said that to make him feel better. <laughs> but uh, if you do, you know, show up on time or when you see, read the signals at the table. Come on. Uh, or just keep up with what's going on. Yeah. There are no signals to be read. Everybody's doing <laughs> basically the same thing. When their entree comes, they eat it. Right. Right. Yeah. Like that's the time to eat your entree. I, I not was, save it. Don't save it for later. I was eating. And you, now you weren't. But you realize you, that you hold on seriously. And I'm not being a dick, bitch. You know? Did you notice that everybody's plate on the table? This is true. Was empty. And yours was completely full. Well, you guys are pigs. You eat so quickly. No, really. But but see, like you notice that stuff and you say, <laughs> either like I don't want to hold seven other people up, so I'm either going to eat quicker or I'm going to forego really? what's left when of my meal. Gonna, when are you going to eat your dinner? I mean, what, what point in the night? And then we waited ten more minutes and you still hadn't eaten it. You never ate it. Right, you did you not touch what? that food from the time I, the waiter you came. You going to eat. I honestly didn't realize that people wouldn't, that it would be considered a faux pas for other people to order dessert while someone else is still eating. Yeah, but it's not Denny's, so, you know. It's it's yeah. it's Danielle. Oh, right, like so we're, we're having a dining cool. experience I, that together. Did, that didn't hit me until you said it. No, I'm okay. sure there's no oh, Danielle in North Carolina. <laughs> Listen, I'm not being no. a, I'm not being an asshole about it. That's the way it works. The, the waiter's not going to take desserts until the the plate the, 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 the place is you know ready to go. It's not uh, done. You could see that the guy was waiting. If you had bothered to pay attention. <laughs> well, anyway. Write down the name of the guy who would watch your fucking check. Yeah, I'd like to know that one <laughs> yeah, myself. Really. So, just, you, don't even, you know what? It, it's not so boring. Off for the air. Is it I know, boring? I don't even, Do you yeah. know who it is? 
<laughs> yeah, it's it's nobody you know, oh, and it's nobody really? anybody knows. He thinks the guy's famous. The guy has a high-profile kind of job. Oh. He would know the job, not the oh. guy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Write down the guy's job. I do have to say that, Be that Benji's stories were, I was riveted. Benji, Benji is good story. riveted. Yeah. Benji's a lot of fun. Uh, That's what you should do in stand-up, by the way. You should really? tell those stories. I wish I could. Tell you know, don't do it. You, you, those stories he doesn't without, tell. Uh, some of them work without. As the stories were going, Beth started going further and further oh, away. She almost crawled under Howard. She oh. she started moving closer to me <laughs> to get away from the disease yeah. that has to be crawling on Benji's I, body. That you shouldn't even joke about that. Right. I would take a test on the air. Okay. Did you come to New York did you come to New York as someone from like, you know, the South? And I'm being serious. Did you come here with the goal of being part of that like outer fringe Andy Warhol gang, like New York City? Nook and cranny, getting blown everywhere. Like, yeah, the underground crowd. Did you want to so be hip. a part of that thing? Or, I've kind of always been attracted to the uh, anything underground, not just sex. Just sex. It's it's more illustrated when it's sex. But I like underground. So. Right. No, but uh, I mean, it is. Dude, she already too bad you weren't at the dinner. You could have asked these questions. I'm just saying, it is, it is dangerous. <laughs> and had your dinner delayed too. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I, I, well, I wish you know. Look. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we had a great time. Well, I would love to have failed the piss Except test for an 800 dollars bottle. Feel horrible. Nah, come on. <laughs> so I only. Bro I would never anymore. even bring it up unless we don't were on the air. Don't invite me anymore. I feel awful. Uh, I I knew you would, but I had to do it because it was that's, too good to bring up on the air. That's how much you care about me. Yeah, the show comes first. Roberto, Roberto, you're on the air. Can I contribute a little, please? You know, it's a given that Benji's a classless fat slob with big eyes. But, Howard, come on, bro. All we need to know is that you, uh, I don't care what you've earned over the course of your life. Just the $83 million that you earned as a bonus. You just pick up the check and, and shut up about what Robin ordered or didn't order. I mean, We're doing a radio show, sir. I think when we... When would you enjoy an $800 bottle of wine with your friends? Roberto, this is a radio show. If they bring things up, read between well, the lines. Not, you know what? That's not true. Cause you do but I'm bringing up etiquette. I'm teaching Robin, too. She needs I to learn. I know etiquette. I think part of etiquette is just keeping quiet. Look, Roberto, if you went to he dinner. Knows my etiquette, not his. Robin, I, the, the truth be told, I would never be mad at Robin for that because she's so generous with me. The idea that I got to pay her back a little bit would be great. So believe me, I'm not upset about it. Can I ask Robin a question? Yes. Um, I've got you back 100% on this, Robin, but I'm curious. You embrace this sort of uh, vegan lifestyle, and you spend so much of your time detoxing, living a pure life. Why do you continue to consume alcohol? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't drink often, but I do like a glass of wine every now and then. You just can't get that out of your life. You can't. I certainly c I'm food. not addicted to wine. I'm not arty. But I feel <laughs> if you're, I'm not detoxing, to wine either. you're detoxing and you're taking enemas and colonics. I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm Howard, Robin's an addict. I was going to, a, to a get on a detox regimen when we were leaving. So this was my farewell to food. I agree with Roberto. I think wine and and all alcohol should be cut out well, of your again, life. Well, again, my nutritionist says wine is okay. Well, then I think you can eat some cream in your soup. No, I can't. That tells me I just got to get a nutritionist that says steak's okay. <laughs> you got to get a nutritionist that heroin's okay. That's what I did. I looked for one until I found one who said wine was right. okay. Right. I don't like you. <laughs> Roberto is right, though, Robin. I, no, he's I not. I always thought that was interesting that you've cut out every First food all, except I'm wine. I'm not an overindulger in anything. Right. I didn't so say I you were. I don't overindulge in wine. Wine, again, you would like my vice to be cream and soup. I would like my vice to be wine. But yeah. do you aspire to one day rid yourself of this need to drink wine? I don't have a need to drink wine. I like I wine. You, I think you can't get lo let go of the pretension of, uh, you know, ordering uh, eight hundred dollars bottles of wine. That's what I think you can. <laughs> she is theory. an expert. I'll tell you what. The, the wine people at Danielle were impressed enough to give me the label. I mean, wow. my God. I oh, thank they you. Steam that off. Yeah. Yeah. They must have been oh, back wow. there steaming. Hey, thank can you. I have that? <laughs> you know, I, 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 when I looked at the price, I, I was so shocked I forgot to take my label with me. Because oh, someone, okay. someone asked me, he said, well, what was this wine you drank? I said, I, I was, uh, listen, I almost passed out at the table, so I forgot to You're bring the name. You're and left your left Let me ask you this. What was the name of this wine? It Robert? was a Dujac wine. I'd, I'd have to look at the label, too, because they make a number of different oh, wines. A oh, a Dujac. You didn't oh, say that. Oh, you underpaid. <laughs> a Dujac. I got it cheap. Yeah. Now, what do you think the restaurant pays for that bottle of wine? Uh, uh, I've heard they, they mark, mark it up it three up times. They mark it up 300%. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, That's so where they make their money. They probably get it for two two fifty. Let me ask you something, Howard, about uh, something that if you thought about with retiring. 
Hmm. Say you didn't have the radio show and this happens. Would hmm. you just harbor resentment for Robin forever? No, would, in fact, that it, would the, the truth, it's not as what? funny to say this, but the fact of the matter is I was kind of glad Robin did that because... Um, Robin's very generous with no, me. I know, everyone but, on the show, and in I'm order to pay her back, no, you're not. I'm doing using that. that as an example in your life. I mean, there seems to be a lot of yeah. things getting to know you that you get out on the air that seems almost therapeutic to you. Do you think that would be a problem for you without no, the radio no show? No problem. No. But no, you're just going to stop seeing people. because I'll, no one will see me again, <laughs> and, and poor Beth will see me. <laughs> Trust me. No, Robin, I will okay. see for life, and right, I'm sure you and Fred, will. but not Benji. Oh. <laughs> I mean, once I retire, I will never see Benji again. I'm sure of that. Benji, when's the last time you did that? Mm. You, you you went to a weird sex situation. Be honest, like you went to an apartment from that bullshit. It's happening all the time. <laughs> well, is he it? claims he's not doing that anymore. He is though. Howard, what is that all about? I mean, I am dating regular chicks, no, but I mean that whole like dangerous like. What is it about? What is it about? You're looking at a guy who can't get laid. So when the only way he's going to get laid is through some freaky scenes. Uh, no, I think he actually can can get mm -hmm. laid. But, no. But I mean, the hole has to be like almost like on a tightrope with like almost like with a gun to your head. Listen, kind of what normal person who doesn't who values their life? You know, when Artie does heroin, I go, you know, I love Artie and he seems like such a normal guy, but yeah. then he's risking his health and his life. That seems more normal so, to me. Well, you're yes. getting, you're getting yeah. normal. Yeah. It's more, more normal. normal. None Benji, of it is normal. But well, it's more normal to me than what Benji. Benji puts himself. He goes. He goes to a room where some guy says, "Come in and fuck some girls." It sounds to me like either you're gonna get knifed. You're gonna. He was even in one. He he explained where it could have been like one of those rape fantasy kind of things. Right. You know that's crazy because. You don't know how you're getting there. You don't know if this woman is participating in this. Well, he gets a rush out of that. You don't know what Robin's saying is, how do you know those girls weren't given roofies? Yeah. And, right. you, oh, and yeah. then they're going to accuse you of raping them. You know, he may not have AIDS, but he definitely has genital warts. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Let's, let's, dude, why don't you come down here, and I'll come down here, and we'll do a doctor's test. Do you want me to examine your penis right now? <laughs> He's the fattest AIDS <laughs> patient ever. Why do you ever. want to see his penis? I don't, Robin, but I will look for genital warts. <laughs> We've all seen it, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, I mean, so you get a rush out of that more than sexual? You like the no. danger of it? No. Uh, you win this thing. You, you, you know I like you. It, it, you know you're putting your life at risk. I, I am dating regular chicks now in a regular way. Hmm. The, the problem is... Do you know that there's something wrong with you? You would go to a room where a guy just says, come come over. I mean, don't you know that... Like, in the middle of the night. You don't have a bodyguard. You don't have a gun. You don't have nothing, man. You're walking in there, and you're doing this weird thing. I mean, <laughs> you don't know that's dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. Do you, do you but... value your life? Do you like living? <clears throat> yes. Yeah. All right. But, but anytime you get laid, it's like there's... Listen, I want to get laid more than anything. Laid, getting laid is the main focus of my life. You know what I mean? It's the primary focus of my life for many, many reasons. If being inside a woman's not enough for me. You know what I mean? I wish I could go inside of you and then come out through your mouth. <laughs> you were all the way up. Right. You were exactly right when you said, I don't get off at all on some dude being there. It's, I'll take the no, opportunity. No, that's to... the dude that's going to take a gun and shoot you in the head right. and rob you. Or stab you. Yeah. Lucky for you, you don't have any money. Did you ever see the movie Looking for Mr. Goodbar? You nah. should you should rent it. Yeah, it was about a hot chick who gets killed. You, on the other hand, are going to get killed. You're not even a hot chick. Right. <laughs> Some people have that need I for... I worry about you. I do. Yeah, like yeah. action. But he's not a gambler. You're not thinking. No, he's gambling with sex. Right. Right. But I guess right. it's more of a sexual thing. Like at the end of the movie, the the, the gambler with James Caan, he he wins his bet, and he he needs he needs more danger in his life. So right. he goes to like a a drug den and and tries to like you know not, get into a knife fight with a big bouncer. Like he right. needs that action. Yeah, action. But it's the same as looking for Mr. Goodbar. She finally winds up with a guy who's mental yeah. and clubs her to death. Right. But it's sexual. It's not like a gambling. Yeah, but it, Benji's is sexual. You right. know, like he doesn't. She didn't know who she was taking home either. See, I don't know. If Benji, Benji can turn that off. Then, ben, like, if you, you can, can't turn off, I'll yeah, tell you, you what. Benji, this isn't about sex, but right? Benji's lonely. No, I'm not. No, you're lonely. I, I have lots of friends. Mm. I'm lonely. I, I would I love, never do that. Listen, I love, I love sex. And it is hard because anytime you're home, you could just go out and get laid. Wouldn't it be safer than to go to a stranger's house? At least go to um, a, a well-known high-end prostitute 
where at least you could... I know it sounds crazy, but then it doesn't feel like it's... I don't get off on that because... See, that's the danger. You, you, he I don't it. feel like I'm earning it. Oh, okay. Benji said something to be watched. I don't way, think he's going to care about this, right. but we, we were in... I mean, it, it was something that... It kind of creeped me out, but it didn't. Uh, and it goes along the lines of this. Maybe you remember this. We, the last time we took the show to Vegas, we landed on a private jet, and it happened to be... Uh, the day of rehab at at the Hard Rock with all the strippers, and uh, they they got us an area, and it was me, and I was talking to this one, the smoking hot blonde was talking to me, and she she knew the show, and she was clearly like hitting on me, you know, right. and, uh, and uh, I was sort of like you know drinking with her and everything. <laughs> then she said to me, he goes, uh, it, don't you, isn't it like a turn on to, to, do you think like you could just be fucking this chick in like five seconds up in your room? And I'm like, I don't know, I, maybe if I, you know, later on or something, because, but aren't you, isn't that fucking amazing that you could just fuck her right now? And I'm like, he was getting too into the question. Yeah. yeah. And I, I was like, I don't but know. I yeah. what was going on in his head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was, I was starting to think like, what do you, what do you want to do? Well, anyway, that was our dinner. Do you remember that? That's the creepy moment. No, but because it was like you were. You were, I don't know right, if I'm, you I'm want done to with meet. Benji. I'm done with Benji. Well, I wanted to right. say, what a lovely evening. It but was. It no longer is in my mind. You know, Robin, you know when things went downhill? I saw the, uh, after Robin ordered the wine, the wait staff was high-fiving each other. <laughs> wow. They were doing the sucker dance. <laughs> the sucker dance in the background. All right. But wow. I, I thought I'd had a good time. I now realize I didn't. You did not have a good time. I did not have I will always remember that night. That's the most expensive booze. You ever, ever had? I yeah, never me too. I well, never had the been, most. Me too. The the most expensive wine I ever had was maybe half that price. Howard, do you? A, I never even had me. anything half that. <clears throat> do you wow. think? Because I'm going to ask Robin this. Well, again, if they're marking things up. Maybe three it was. Times you're drinking the wine I brought you. It was really a two hundred, a two fifty dollar. Well, you're not fifty dollars. No, 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 not getting no, that I'm wine at Costco. The, it was retail wine. Right. The wine I bought you for a present. Each bottle is more expensive than the wine you drank. Mm. By the way, did you hear Gary going off on you on the wrap-up show? Oh, my God. Did what you is hear that? that all about? Did what you hear it? Now what? Oh, my God. Hey, Howard, real quick before I'm, we end this. I'm now giving up wine because it causes you should, too much you, trouble. You, you with wine, you got you got to hear Gary from the wrap-up. But, Dominic, what did you want to say real quick? Uh, how do you know that Benji's really doing all this? Because I don't. Think, think about this for one I think I believe him. No, I... Well, Everyone at that table, he was shocking some women that would would never, ever think of this type of behavior, would find it disgusting. And, and for a moment, he makes himself the most important person at the table. Mary, certainly, Robin, right. Beth, all these women are hearing these horrible stories. And while he's telling them, everyone's looking limited to him. I doubt he does any of this. And I'm serious. Well, you make a point. I, he, it did make him the star of the night. Let's and, verify. But it was fun. I, I allow you, if you want to put it on the air and get those people, you can do it. <laughs> what? I'd love you to verify. We, we, I, 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 you know, I, 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 for one of the... You, do you really think those people are going to come on the air? <laughs> it can be verified. The, the, oh, God, who the, are they? One <laughs> of the, the famous woman... I, I feel weird about Wait, it. Wait, there's a famous woman? Yeah, no. yeah. I know that what? one, and I don't want to go anywhere yeah. with that. I feel like oh, I know that. Not, it's not her, you know. Yeah. I know it's the, a different one. I know the famous woman. <laughs> but supersonic, she used to describe the sex and not describe it the way you did, Benji. So I what do you mean? What she describe? Well, the events that you think you did. You know, in your story, you're the stud. No, but what did supersonic say? Well, that she, you, you were not the super, super stud for her. When, you know, wait, 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 wait. When did you hear her say that? First of all, how could that be the man? Dominic, man? stop a second. When yeah. did you hear her say that? Well, she's discussed it on the air once. That, and what'd she say? That it wasn't what you were saying. That's not what she said at all. Do you guys remember what she said? All right, can I get off Benji now? Yeah, she Dominic, said she was thank you. It. I saw you on Larry King. I got a tape of it and uh, gained some weight. <laughs> he's now too weight. skinny? Robin, he's become so thin. You know what a prune looks like? <laughs> he's like a, he looks like someone stuck a pen in him. Oh, you no. He's deflated? Now, really? Yeah, you, you look better, heavier, maybe. I don't. You don't. But your health is probably better, so I'm happy for you. All right, goodbye. All right, Dominic. There he is. Anyway, how so do you Gary, think you could tell the difference between an eight hundred dollar bottle of wine and a two hundred dollar bottle of wine? You know, I'm not that sophisticated, but the wine was very good. Robin, I, that's all could I you eight hundred and two hundred? You think not a good two hundred dollar bottle of wine? Uh, Listen, I'm not I told that you. Good. I told you. This is a real quick story. I've said it on the air before. There are a very famous uh, couple who are authors. And they write only about wine. They are wine experts. Not they the can... ones Benji fucked. No. no. These are considered <laughs> oh. two of the top people. I remember I bought their book 
like Rob and I try to learn something about wine. I learned less than she did. But um, anyway, I'm reading the book, and the guy starts off the book by saying that him and his wife were searching for a great bottle of wine. They were in wine country. They go to this place. They found a bottle of wine, and they didn't make a lot of money. And they said, this is the most expensive bottle of wine. They had to buy it. They had to try it. They're, after all, wine experts. It's part of their job. It's almost a tax write-off for them. And they bought the bottle of wine. They said, we'll save it for a special occasion. Well, they waited like a year. Mm. Special occasion shows up. They drink it. They said it was the best bottle of wine they had ever experienced in their life. Wow. What they didn't realize was they opened the wrong bottle. <laughs> and it was, Robin, I told you this story. No, you didn't. Yeah. It was I a, never heard this. The, the wine was a $10 bottle of table wine from... Um, <laughs> I can't now remember the name. Uh -huh. I t I've told this story once on the air, and I'll look up the name. I went out and bought the $10 bottle of wine because they said, we were fooled. We are wine experts. We spent <laughs> our lives on this. And to show you how sometimes this can all be bullshit, yeah. we thought this $10 bottle of wine was the best wine we'd ever had. We have to be honest about it. Nothing is bullshit. Right. It's all, you know, who knows what the value of any bottle of wine is. Right. It's what people can get for it based on their marketing and distribution yeah. and you know the value of their name anyway so gary gave it to you on the wrap-up show this is another wine thing that's gotten you in oh, trouble geez. and then i'll get back to underdog lady at some point <laughs> but uh here's robin getting blasted i mean wow why do i even bother to try all right here you go this is really robin <laughs> just because we both got you wine for your birthday is listen this to what gary says and by the way i had heard this rap off there he'd come to me about this really and uh i didn't know he was gonna go on the air with it i don't know what's going on around here. i was really angry in the office this morning and this is totally real i bought howard a birthday present and I brought it on Monday, the day of his birthday, and I put it in my office, and I just happened to mention to Howard when I was there earlier, hey, I just want to let you know, I got your birthday present. I'll just have Tracy get it over to your house. And I said, you know, I explained what the wine was. It took all of 20 seconds. He said, thank you, and it was great. Robin announced that she was bringing him wine. She, so we did that whole wrap on the air. So we know that Robin's bringing him wine, or, the, or that's what the present is going to be. Ronnie walks in this morning like he was her uh, cabin boy. Like Robin walked in in a full-length leather coat with mink or some chinchilla or something around the edges. And Ronnie was carrying these two big boxes. Robin puts them down on Howard's console right before the show. So there they are. You know, so now Howard knows he's got the wine. Now Robin insists that he opens it up on the air. We know it's wine. You know, I think it's just slowing down the show. And I don't understand what the big show of the gift was about. And I thought, yeah, she kept saying, go inside. There's like a big payoff. Yeah, the payoff is there's a, a note that says these bottles were handpicked by Robin, which they weren't. <laughs> and, you know, it's wine. It's a wonderful gift, but I don't know what all the fanfare was about. So you took it on the chin <laughs> twice now about wine. About wine. I think I'm giving it up yeah, because it enough. just causes me trouble. <laughs> you, know, you, you have to go to a new drink. <laughs> no more wine for you. Uh. So uh, there you go. You want to answer, Gary, uh, for any no, reason if why? No, feels that way, I'm sorry. Good for you taking I the just... high road wanted you to open the wine and read the note. That's well, all. he took great offense. Mm. Both? I don't know. Wait, wait. It I slowed could, the whole suit down. I could have said, Howard, I want you to open my wine. Right. And the big payoff was, this is the wine that you said you loved that you couldn't find, and I somehow found it for you. And I could have, but, but I don't know why we would do that on the air. In other words, you're saying... You can't understand why Robin had me open it on the air. We knew it was wine. Wait, we knew it was like, wine, and we knew she handpicked it. Okay. What? Well, no, you were claiming that it didn't hand -pick. Well, you probably had some help, but okay, but fine. Say, say I'm off on that. That's a minor detail. Why did Howard have to open wine on the air that we knew was wine? <laughs> I just wanted you to know it wasn't a last-minute gift. I had done that a while ago. Ah. Right. <laughs> right what? I don't know. I don't know with wine. I just love to argue about nothing. I, I don't want to hear about Benji anymore. I want to hear about wine. I'm done with wine. I love wine. But uh, thank you, uh, everyone. I had a great night with all. Uh, don't thank me. Except for Robin. God, I hate you now. <laughs> and what did you do? You I got... feel horrible now. Stop it. I do. And then the next night you went on, the next morning you went on a plane at 9 a.m. Yeah. And you were getting. I was in Miami. And at what point in the day did you get your colonic? Did you wait the full day? I didn't get a colonic that day. You got to Miami and no colonic? No, I didn't get a colonic that day. What did you do? I went to the spa, had uh, did some steam and sauna, had a wow. massage, a bath, all kinds of things. Look at you. Things. A bath. Yeah, this was the, the, like, the wildest spa I've ever been in. Why? It was like a great 
hang a hangout place because you know people just lie around on these heated slabs of marble and then they run Are from they the nude? sauna to the steam. No, it's co-ed and everybody's wearing a suit. Really? So you run from the steam to the sauna to the slab to the you know then they have bathtubs, metal bathtubs all around so you can take a a nice soak in a bathtub. They have cold showers, hot showers. Then they have this whole outdoor area with a salt water pool and you know just it was like amazing. And, and you go the, yourself. I went with my friends. With uh, Dr. Ronnie? Dr. Ronnie and James, yeah. I don't like that whole crowd. <laughs> Does it smell like ass, though, the spa? Like, is no, it, like one it was of those... very clean. Oh, good. Very clean. Does it smell like ass? No, it does not smell like Because I went to an ass spa. Where... <laughs> Sometimes, like, in a locker room. Oh, no, no, no. Are there people like sponging you when you take these baths? Well, I did have a scrub down, yes. <laughs> From a young no. Tony Curtis? Explain like, that to me. Before we run out of time here, because... I'm, I'm not telling you, but I was like, what? oh, my God. If I told Howard what I was doing What now... are you saying? You, you were in a bathtub not in the bathtub where were uh, you the scrub happened in the steam room you're in a steam room a woman or a man walks a in. man a man <laughs> oh yeah beth said to me you know she's been talking to you too much she goes yeah maybe i want to try male masseuse i said well then you're divorced so go ahead and do what you want well i was thinking about Good. that the whole time beth will never experience this so you're nude for this scrub down no i was in a robe this guy was amazing. Wait a second. Was she nude under the robe? White guy, black guy. Uh, maybe Hispanic guy. Right. Uh, Muscular, good-looking young guy. Watch oh, your wallet. What? He's been a model and an actor, and now he's a massage therapist a and young a martial model. artist. A martial artist, young model, <laughs> walks in. You're in a bathing suit? Oh, you're in a robe. I'm in a robe and a bathing suit. I Thank God I was uh, in a bathing suit or we would have been having sex. Really? Why were you getting excited? <laughs> no, I'm telling you, I have never had a massage like that in my life. He scrubs you with a sponge? But forget the scrub. He uses his entire body in the massage. <laughs> oh, get the fuck out of here. His cock too? <laughs> what, he recognize you? I guess he recognized <laughs> And he started, like, rubbing oh. up against you? Well, he's he's manipulating my ass with his feet, and he's... I mean, there were times I felt the stubble from his chin. What? What? <laughs> we Are you out of your mind? He used to be an actor. Was it Freddie Prince Jr.? Did you get wet during it? No, I was wet because we were doing wet work. Where did you feel the stubble from his beard? Oh, I don't... I was On like, what part of your body? vagina. That is, Oh, my God, that's his face. <laughs> was he, were you aroused during it at all? Be honest. He's very good looking, and a couple of times I was like, you know what? If this bathing suit wasn't here, I think we'd be having sex. Wow. <laughs> oh, you know how many times that guy probably fucked chicks? Forget no. about it. You are kidding me. No, it was it Was, was he very nude? Interesting. What was he wearing? No, he was wearing a bathing suit as well. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? Can you imagine if I told Beth... I got a, 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 a that kind of um, treatment from, <laughs> from a girl a woman, in, yeah. a in a bathing suit. That would be cheating. I, I, you're married. Don't yeah. do it. <laughs> no. Oh my God. It was hysterical. That's insane. I was like, they recommended this to me. I was like, what? and you know he's not doing that with every girl. Uh, I think he is. Yeah, well. well. <laughs> Dr. Ronnie got that. Dr. Ronnie, I said, have you had that massage? She goes, yes, I have. No, oh, she loves it. <laughs> it was hysterical. Then we did mud baths on the beach. With uh, with the same guy? No, no, no. I the, the mud you put on yourself and you just lay on this thing, but you're naked on the beach in mud. But in front of men and towel. women? Yeah, people were just out there sunbathing. You were nude? I had a towel over me. How do you get the mud all over you if you have a you towel? You put the mud all over yourself. But, but how and do you, then you like, cover yourself with a towel and go to the yeah, thing and lay down. Yeah, but when you're putting the mud on, guys can see your boobs and your no, no, ass. No, no, no. I went behind a wall. Oh. But other women can see you. No, there was no... It was just right. the, the two of us. James was on one side and I was on the other. You put the mud on your vagina? You don't need mud on your vagina. Do you, did you... You were nude. Did mud get on your vagina? No! You don't need that what? guy's face on your ass either, but you did that. Right. Did you rub it on your breast? Yeah. Did that guy rub your breast, the, the masseuse? No. With stubble? He went between. He was oh, right. come on. In what? <laughs> With what? His hands? Yeah, he went right up there. He gave you a motorboat. So did he, did he like, rub into your boobs? I don't know. I was so flabbergasted by the whole thing. Rub that clip. Like, come on. Okay, <laughs> what's going to happen next? What's 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 do, and what is he doing to your ass? Is he manipulating, like, your taint and your asshole? His feet are going everywhere. Wow. That's rape. <laughs> 
Oh, my goodness. Wow. Was it Amy Fisher's husband? <laughs> what, George, what is it? Then i got to take a break because we've gone yeah, a long time. On, uh, Beth, oh, when is she going to come out on that morning show? Now, Beth is hosting that morning show, Mike and Juliet, uh, Thursday and Friday. Oh, okay. Oh, it's on. Howard, you're going to have to excuse me because I'm going to have to pleasure myself. Beth gave me a little fashion show, which she's going to be wearing on this. Oh. She picked out some good dresses and stuff. Yeah. This guy's waiting now. He's in front of the yeah. dress. Yeah, he's, he's not going to miss her. Yeah, yeah Mike and Ju the big screen just for that. Mike and Juliet show. He went out and purchased a new TV. Yeah. It's like the Super Bowl. It's weird. Mike and Juliet show, I think, has been canceled, but it's it's on for like the next couple of months. Well, sometimes they do that. They have to finish the season yeah. or something. What is so, that like for morale? I, I mean, know. it's really like, you know, shit. I don't know, but Beth, the, I guess uh, Juliet's going somewhere for two days, and they said, I think you... she's getting married. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah she's kind of hot. She's very cute. I think she's out job hunting. <laughs> Doing interviews. You should wear short dresses, that Julia, because now I'm watching the show with uh, Beth, you know, to see what's happening. Uh -huh. She wears, like, real short dresses and like, the heels, and she definitely plays that whole leg thing like those Fox News oh, yeah. anchor women. Yeah. yeah. I like that. <laughs> Gets me very excited. Well, she's a big fan of the show. Juliet? Yeah. Wow. I wonder if her and Beth could get it on in front of me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'll have to ask. Yeah, Beth started in with you. Well, what girl... You want to see me with another girl? What girl would you want to see me with? I said, well, you don't like any girls. Every girl I mention, you go, ugh. Yeah, I mean, there's probably a million you'd like to see yeah. her with. So, like, if I said to, like I said to her, uh, okay, your friend Jill, you and Jill, get it on in front of me. Mm. She goes, oh, no, Jill's my girlfriend. You know, she's not, you know. Jill's the Nick broad? Yeah. The Nick? Yeah, Jill. Yeah, yeah. So, so Jill Martin. So, I, I said, well, you two get it on in front of me. No, 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 no. That's my friend. You know, I don't have those feelings for her. I said, okay. So there must be somebody you have a feeling for. I said, okay, right, how about... Who is that? I go, how about Juliet? She goes, oh, no, 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 not Juliet. I, I, I go, so how, what am I going to do? Name every woman on the planet till I get one right? I said, tell me a woman you're attracted to. So at least I could have that fantasy. She won't come up with a name. Well, even an actress. I mean, can she, she, she likes think it. of... She likes the girl on the L word. Right, but that's a butch girl. You mm -hmm. probably don't like her. I like her. I like anyone. Well, then you, there's your fantasy. Yeah, Sounds let's like go. Plan to me. Yeah, good luck getting her, my buddy. <laughs> All right, thanks, uh, George. All right, you guys take care. Yeah. If you sit in front of your TV till Thursday, you'll see her. Um. Anyway, so oh, right, well, I have a lot to talk to you about. There's a whole bunch of things I want to say about, you know, Obama, and I got a bunch now of. Now that you've disparaged me, you can move on to the press. other people. Now that I've worked you over pretty good. <laughs> Obama. <laughs> now that you've been worked over. Yeah, I'm. I'm punch drunk. No. Yeah. Gary took a good shot at you, too. I don't know why. You know, screw Gary. <laughs> I, I don't bother him. Why is he bothering me? <laughs> never, you never bother me? <laughs> He's just out there upset that I got wine, too. I'm going to uh, take a uh, break. I think everyone needs it. <laughs> and we'll be back right after these words. Yeah, hi, guys. Uh, great show today. I uh, really like it. Uh, it's that's kind of obnoxious uh, of Robin to order an 800 bottle of wine. It's, it's irrelevant whether someone can afford it or not. If, even if you're out to dinner with Bill Gates, an 800 bottle of wine, uh, 800 dollar bottle of wine, is still an 800 dollar bottle of wine. And, and quite honestly, you know, Robin or anyone else at that table wouldn't know the difference between an 800 dollar bottle and a 20 dollar bottle. Uh, I know I don't. I'll be the first to admit. I only took a sip of my wine and I poured the rest in my wife's glass. And when the waiter went to fill up my glass, I don't. I just don't drink red wine. Do you? Think but if it were white wine, it would have been instead of twenty four hundred dollars, it would have been thirty two hundred. I would have tanked that right down. Bill, do you think uh, Robin was hurt when Howard brought that up? Um, yeah, I think she was hurt and probably she deserved it. I mean, that's twenty four hundred bucks for three bottles of wine. That's you know, that Robin with all her uh, you know altruistic uh, uh, endeavors and the the women in Altria. It, 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 it's just incongruous to order $2,400 bottles of wine and then say, you know, go off on a tangent on other times you're helping poor women in some other country. It's just. But why can't it, she? Why can't she do both? Why can't she spend? Her, this wasn't her money, but why can't Robin spend her money the way she wants to and help oh, people in another country? You know what? If it was her money, that would be fine. But she's spending someone else's money. It's. it's the, I, I think the proper thing would have been to do. You know what? Let me buy the wine. You're buying dinner. I like this wine. I know it's a really good wine. Let me offer to buy the wine. You know, and Bill. I, Bill, I, no, actually, you... I actually think you're off of that. I think the proper thing to have done was to go for a. You know, Robert said. You know, even the low end bottles of wine were like a hundred or two hundred. Get a two hundred dollar bottle of wine. 
And I think that would have been the way to go. But again, she, you know, Robin didn't do it with any maliciousness. And I did really feel bad for her today because she did not see it coming and she was, she was stung by it, stung really hard. All right. Bill, thank you for your call. Ralph Sorella, you're back on the wrap up show. Bill said all of that pretty well. I mean, it really is disgusting. I mean, beyond disgusting, especially in this fucking economy, to go out and uh, order an eight hundred dollar bottle of wine. Wait, 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 one bottle. It's just disgusting. Wait, Ralph. Just if you're like, if she just went out to dinner herself, you'd still say it's disgusting. Oh yeah, but and then to heap that on somebody else, and it, it, it's like she's got to know Howard. <clears throat> Howard has a tremendous respect for money. And he doesn't throw it around like that. And uh, you know what I mean? I, I really don't see Howard sitting down and ordering $800 bottles of wine. And like that other guy said, who at that table is really, you, you know, understanding that? And if it is, like, if I was drinking the $800 bottle of wine, I'd want to know it. You know, please right. announce it to the table. <laughs> right. I, I, right. I wish I would have known because I would have yeah. taken a few more sips and I would have said, Okay, let me log this away. This is what eight hundred dollar wine tastes yeah, like. But, oh, I mean, but, but how do you present that? Do you come out and you say, don't. "Now this is an eight hundred? I mean, what do you what do you do? It's so tacky. They tell, the whole thing is tacky. Don't get started with an eight hundred dollar bottle of wine. It's ridiculous. But if Robin wants to spend that kind of money on herself, why is that disgusting? Oh, because it's just it's just because. Because it's no respect for money. I mean, she doesn't. She doesn't know the difference between a twenty. As much as she thinks she's an expert, she's not going to know the difference between a twenty-dollar bottle and a two hundred-dollar bottle. And it's just a waste of money. Doesn't she have anything better to do with her money than waste it? I mean, who knows if she would buy an eight hundred-dollar bottle? Do you feel that way about watches? And well, yeah, kind of to a certain point. Like a five thousand-dollar watch is ridiculous. Well, I told you. I told you the story. I, I'm not going to say his name, but. I know we used to have a watch store right where we were at K Rock, and I I talked to the guy who ran it all the time, and I know a celebrity who's been on the show a bunch of times who bought a seventy five thousand dollar watch, and my my opinion was why wh- th- exactly <laughs> I mean like what I mean what does that watch do that my you know five hundred dollar watch which I think is insanely expensive hey, hey, listen, doesn't it's, do it's somebody's money and they can do with it whatever they could throw it out the window if they want and quite frankly you'd be better off doing that than spending eight hundred dollars on a bottle of wine but. But really, in this day and age, in this economy, and the way people are suffering, and you've got poor Dan there who, who <laughs> doesn't have a pot to piss in, and then you go, woo! Yeah. Now, what if there was a bunch of $800 bottles of wine on a table, and nobody was looking? Would you grab one as if it was a dollars Dan, that joke didn't work the first time. I'm yeah, sorry. I mean, keep trying that. But I do <laughs> like, I, I, I like, I like Ralph's analogy better in the sense that those three bottles of wine, in, in the financial state that you're in, mean a lot to you. But does that bother you because you're broke that somebody's spending that kind of money? No, not at all. It's their money. They're free right. to do with it as well. The same way as when I had money, nobody could tell me what to do with it. I agree. I don't think. I think that that's the way Robin wants to spend her money. But I also agree that she probably should have laid a little low with Howard's money. All right, Ralph, thanks for the call. We're tight on time. Let's go to Jamie in San Antonio. Jamie, you're on the wrap-up show. What a disappointing show. Down the Dan Vortex, down the Benji Vortex. I'm, it's awful. I know you guys don't want to hear that, but... Well, it's an opinion, which you're entitled to. That's the first time, Ralph. Keep keeping your vortex, man. When Ralph called in, I thought he was going to fix it the first time, and then he just went right down there with you. Well, Jamie, what should we be talking about? We should be talking about Robin, because that's amazing. If, If I go out to dinner or out to lunch with my boss and we go to McDonald's, I wouldn't even supersize a meal because I don't want to charge him extra, you know? It's it's just mind-boggling. I mean, isn't that even... I know, Gary, you always say things in New York cost more, but isn't that even in New York just insane? Oh, yeah. So that's a lot of money in any part of the world. It's, listen, it's a level of dining that I have never been to before and won't be back to again unless Howard takes me. I definitely won't be back. All right. I, are you, I can't are you, imagine. Dude, are you peeing? Dude. Jamie, are you peeing? No. What was that noise? Oh, that was a sink. Uh, Do you want me to pee? No. No. We're getting out of the Jamie Vortex, but thanks for your call there, Jamie. Good call. All right. Hey, uh, by the way, Sal went around and um, uh, talked to some people yesterday, I think up in Harlem, about the uh, inauguration and the excitement about Obama. And, of course, Sal once again made up some things about Obama, but people went right along with it. (laughs) So here we go. Here's Sal up in Harlem, I believe. Did you uh, see the inauguration? I saw the inauguration. I saw the balls afterward. What do you think about him appointing Mayor Marion Barry as Secretary of State? Was it a good choice? Well, 
That's not for me to say. I mean, he's probably, he's probably a great candidate if that's the candidate the president chose. Now, Obama says if white people use the N-word, they should go to jail for six months to a year. Do you agree with that? If they use it in a derogatory, racist way, yeah. They should. It should be a penalty for it. All right, and Sal spoke to a woman who was actually at the inauguration. Good job, Sal. Okay, did you watch the inauguration? I went to it. It was awesome. It was so you were at the inauguration? Yes, sir. Now, let me ask you this. Were you shocked when you appointed Mayor Marion Barry as Secretary of State? No, nothing shocks me. Nothing shocks me. He, he appointed him, but they will investigate, and they will find out he's qualified. So right. let, let them do their work. And if he's qualified, well, he's qualified. Also, he said that if the white people use the N-word, they should do six months to a year in jail. Do you agree with that? Is they using it for hatred and racism? Right. Absolutely. Some kind of punishment so that way they can learn. And, and he wants to pardon O.J. What's your feelings on that? O.J. If he's innocent, well, the man's innocent. Well, That's there right. you go. So, uh, this wouldn't that have been why great? We can't let people tamper with the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Don't you think it would have been great <laughs> when Obama got in if he pardoned OJ immediately? <laughs> wouldn't that be this the best thing ever? Oh yeah, that'd be yeah, great. That'd, just, that'd be like this, 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 that would just throw everything off. Scott DePace would be up and on. I'd yeah. be dancing. Uh, real quick, um, let me just play this to you. Uh, this is uh, a new song about Robin that just came in from Little Mikey. He's in love with you, honey. Mike Mars again? No, Little Mikey. Oh, this little is a Mikey's different guy. A different guy. In my mind, my cock's in Robin's vagina <laughs> I'm fucking her from behind I'm jerking off till I go blind I'm gonna come in a short time Because Robin is so fine my cock's in Robin's vagina in my mind. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, my cock's my in Robin's vagina in my mind. Wish I'd read that. Fantastic. That happens to be very funny. By the way, everyone's talking about the fact that Robin and I went out to dinner and Robin ordered three $800 bottles of wine. I did not order three $800 mm. of bottle, bottles of wine. You did. I see. And uh, here's a song about that. $800 wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's what Robin paid. <laughs> Make Howard pay for that shit. Because wow. he's a rich Jew. Oh, my God. <laughs> $800 wine. Yes, $800 wine. Robin's so rude. <laughs> Vegan colonics, blah, blah. Anyway, the song goes on and on, but uh, I don't blah, blah. Eat much. <laughs> uh, a guy wrote me a uh, email. He said, "Just let Howard know a bottle of 1995 Domaine du Jacques Red Burgundy wine, the exact bottle from the wine list at Danielle, sells for $800 a bottle. Retails for roughly $115. Wow. Robin's out of her mind. She needs to get a grip. I have a degree in wine, oniology, it's called, and price does not necessarily dictate quality. Robert Parker, one of the most consistent wine experts on the planet." Rates that wine that you guys drank at 90 points out of 100. There are also quite a few other burgundies that sell for 25 bucks or less that also hold that same rating. The total markup on the wine is just under $2,100 for three bottles. I also had a chance to peruse the wine list at Danielle, and there are many outstanding bottles under $200. One would think that under the tutelage of the great Dariush, she would know better. Clearly, she had so much coffee shoved up her ass that she can no longer think clearly. In other words, if Robin was... Uh, thinking clearly, and a wine expert, she would have known that there are bottles of wine of equal rating points that are much less Look, money. I According pretend to this. I was put on the spot. Right. All right, Robin, $800 bottle of wine. And that's it. There you You know what? I, I really, that, uh, I, I had a double hit yesterday. You took it hard. I was very depressed reading Artie's article, but I was also depressed by this $800 wine situation. Right. And I had a very, very, very bad day yesterday with you, the, the echoing in my head of your psychiatrist saying I'm angry at you and all kinds of things, yeah. and this is not good, and I'm, I'm doing something. You're getting that money back somehow because I will not stand for that. I've already gotten the money back just in... in uh... No, 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 no. Yeah. You're getting this money back. 
Can uh-huh. I have it in from, BJ's? Not from, yes, whatever, because I can't take this anymore. I can get the BJ's. <laughs> uh, Robin, way, that's Robin. one BJ. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, $800 wine was by Michael Burkus, who uh, sent that in. Thank you, Michael. Uh, also, uh, Lick My Scrotum came in. Do you know about this? <laughs> Robin, lick my scrotum. I grab my balls and hold them. I like this one. Without those black tits, <laughs> it'll be so fun. You never start brewing coffee while you're giving me a blowjob. There'll be time enough for animals <laughs> after I come. <laughs> Uh, finally, uh, the pièce de résistance came in. This is uh, Robin having sex with Amy Fisher's husband. Oh no! A fantasy of one of the listeners, and this is really very mind blowing. Hold on to your hats. I love you, pussy. Thank you. Love that clip. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, yeah, let me see that beautiful wet clip. No problem. That little girl's clip. Uh. Mm. You spread it with your fingers. That's it. Oh, okay. Let me see it. Open it up for me. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let me see those beautiful nipples that I love. Play those nipples. How romantic. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Mm, so pink. So tight. Yes, it is. Of course, I want to examine this pussy. You don't have to use such nasty language. Oh, you know what? Like. <laughs> oh. oh. You and the Lou. Robin. Blue. They make a good couple. Yeah. Very sexy. All this, se- it's so sexy. It's getting me in the mood. Put your head on my penis. <laughs> Hold it in your mouth, baby. That, that one's from uh, Joey Pajamas. He's, he's very talented.